So in this video, we'll be going over another momentum problem where we have a bullet that is striking a target. So we're given that the bullet has a mass of five grams. It's traveling at 300 meters per second. It embeds, this is a key word here, embeds into a 500 gram target that is moving towards the bullet at five meters per second. So we have a bullet, we'll call it moving to the right, and then we have a target that is moving to the left. We're looking for the speed of the bullet and the target after the impact. So we know that when the bullet hits the target, it embeds or it remains in the target. So after the collision, the bullet and the target are going to have the same velocity because they are stuck together. And so we know what type of collision that is. And what is that collision called? The collision is called a completely inelastic collision. When they stick together, or in this case, the keywords embed, they, it, the type of collision that it is, is a completely inelastic collision. So as always, let's start by defining our coordinate system and choosing a positive direction. I'm going to call to the right the positive x direction. So we need to have a before and after collision so that we can look at the momentum before and look at the momentum after because we know that the momentum of everything before and after must be the same or in other words momentum must be conserved so before we have the bullet and B I'm gonna call it has a mass of 5 grams which is 0 0.005 kilograms and that has a velocity moving to the right V, we'll call it VB, and that's equal to 300 meters per second. Then we have a target. I'm going to call the mass of it MT, and that's going to have a mass of 0 0.5 kilograms. And that is going to be moving towards the left. And the velocity VT is going to be equal to negative 5 meters per second. This negative sign comes from our definition of our coordinate system, where to the right is positive, so the target moving to the left is negative. After, well, we have the bullet embedding in the target, so we know that the mass is going to be combined. So we have MB plus MT. And the velocity, that's what we're looking for. We're asked to find the speed after impact, or the velocity after impact. And so we have this more massive target moving with a decent speed to the left. And then we have this very small mass bullet moving to the right, but it has a very high velocity. Since the target is moving, the most likely scenario is that the final velocity of both is going to be to the left, but it really doesn't matter in terms of the drawing. Just make a guess, and if whatever the sign comes out to be, that is what the direction is going to be. But make an educated guess. I think since the target's moving to, towards the bullet, it's going to continue to move towards the left when the bullet embeds. It's just going to slow it down. So we are looking for VF. I think it's negative, but it's okay if you're wrong, and it has units in meters per second. So let's plan our solution now for any collision. We know that momentum is conserved, which means that the momentum before must equal the momentum after. And remember, momentum is a vector, so the sign matters. We have two objects, so we know that 
the momentum of the first object, which is the mass of the first object times the velocity of the first object, plus the mass of the second object times the velocity of the second object must equal the mass of the first object times the final velocity of the first object plus the mass of the second object times the final velocity of the second object. And that will be the equation that we'll use. So what type of collision do we have again? Think about it. We have a bullet embedding itself in the target. And so when something lodges itself into something else or sticks to something else during a collision, we know that we have a completely inelastic collision. And what does that tell us? Well, that tells us the final velocities where the velocity of the first object must equal the velocity of the second object because they're embedded, they're, they're stuck together. They must be moving with the same speed. So now we're going to use equation one. So we have the mass of the bullet times the initial velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the target times the initial velocity of the target. And that equals the combined mass, the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the target because they are moving together, times the final velocity, which is what we're looking for. And remember, again, because it's a completely inelastic collision, those velocities are the same, which is why we add the masses together. So let's rearrange and solve for the final velocity. The final velocity is equal to one over the combined mass of the bullet and the target. And that's multiplied by the mom initial momentum of the bullet plus the initial momentum of the target. Now let's substitute in our values. We have one over the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the target. That gives us 0 0.505 kilograms. Mass of the bullet, 0 0.005 kilograms, times the initial velocity, which is 300 meters per second, plus the mass of the target, which is just 0 0.5 kilograms, times the velocity of the target. And remember, this is negative five meters per second. And this is why it's important to define your coordinate system. Because if you didn't define your coordinate system and you just happen to write five meters per second, it's going to change the overall answer. So direction matters, especially in momentum problems. So substituting that expression into your calculator, you find the final velocity of the bullet and the target to be negative 1.98 meters per second. So the bullet and target are moving to the left. So our solution is complete. What we are looking for our answer units match up for velocity. The magnitude is less than what the velocity was for just the target moving to the left, which matches up because the velocity of the bullet was to the right. 